According to the World Bank, Ethiopia's economy has experienced some of the world's fastest growth over the previous 15 years at a rate of 9.5% annually. This growth was driven, among other things, by capital accumulation, particularly through investments in public infrastructure. The government launched a 10-year development plan based on the 2019 Homegrown Economic Reform Agenda which will run from 2020-21 to 2029-30. The plan aims to sustain the remarkable growth achieved under the growth and transformation plans of the previous decade, while facilitating the shift towards a more private sector-driven economy. But how exactly does Ethiopia truly plan to become a middle-income country by 2030? To answer that we have to examine 15 facts about how Ethiopia will structure its growth curve come 2030. We've made it easy for you to follow up on all the different aspects that will eventually lead to Ethiopia's rise in the 2030s. Fifteen, Youthful Population There is no doubt whatsoever that Ethiopia's population will play a huge role with its rise. Ethiopia's current population stands at 117 million people, and with a median age of 19 and a half years, the country will definitely benefit from having these youngsters in the 2030s. A young population benefits investors greatly and can result in the development of millions of new jobs. Ethiopia, if properly managed, can benefit economically and demographically from having young people. A young population can occasionally present problems in specific development zones if it is improperly handled. The management of the educational system to ensure that all young people receive a sufficient degree of education will be one of the major concerns for the Ethiopian government. This also brings us to our next point. 14. Education. Ethiopia has prioritized creating an educational system that can create workers qualified to operate in emerging fields like science and technology. This is partially due to the fact that older industries in developed nations are now less likely to remain dominant in the industrial landscape due to their decreased competitiveness. A movement to raise the general level of education of the populace has also evolved, with a growing conviction that everyone has a right to education. As the percentage of educated workers rises, Ethiopia's economy becomes more productive because educated workers are better equipped to handle occupations that call for reading and critical thought. A greater degree of knowledge does come with a price, though. Ethiopia doesn't need to have a vast network of colleges or universities to reap the benefits of education. It only needs to offer simple literacy programs. Increased education spending boosts economic growth, according to decades of research. This entails higher gross domestic product, improved workforce productivity, and higher individual salaries. 13. Manufacturing Without manufacturing, technological advancement is impossible. Whether it's chemical processing or automation, the manufacturing sector is what spurs technical innovation and expansion. Therefore, advancements in manufacturing frequently have an impact on numerous other industries, businesses, and people further down the supply chain. Manufacturing is generally acknowledged as being the primary driver of productivity growth enabled by technology. It is possible to produce goods at a lower cost through manufacturing. In turn, this contributes to an improvement in the average person's quality of life. The manufacturing industry makes so significant contributions to so many other sectors that it is regarded as the capitalist system's educational institute. If something succeeds in the manufacturing sector, it is likely to be successful in sectors that depend on computers, warehouses, transportation technology, and other things. 12. Foreign Direct Investments Foreign Direct Investment, or FDI, 
will boost Ethiopia's economic growth and foster an environment that is more hospitable for businesses, investors and the local community. Because of its import barriers, Ethiopia finds it challenging to conduct business. To ensure sales and goals are met, many economic sectors typically need to be present in the global markets. All of these aspects of global trade are significantly facilitated by FDI. Because of its import barriers, Ethiopia finds it challenging to conduct business. To ensure sales and goals are reached, several economic sectors often need to be present in the global markets. All of these features of global trade are significantly facilitated by FDI. As foreign investors establish new businesses in Ethiopia, new jobs and opportunities are generated. Locals may earn more money and have more purchasing power as a result, which will help the targeted economies grow more broadly. 11. Small and Medium Enterprises or SMEs SMEs are remarkably effective at driving economic expansion. They increase the tax base, spur innovation, and generate a large number of new job possibilities. Additionally, SMEs enhance competitiveness among their peers and heat up the market environment. The best qualities of a firm are brought forth by this constant strive for supremacy. This results in a situation where both the provider and the customer win. Additionally, this boosts overall productivity and economic efficiency. By adjusting and inventing in response to changing conditions, SMEs serve as a buffer against recession. The general state of the numerous SMEs in the nation is strongly correlated with the varied levels of poverty, hunger, and economic well-being of the society. SMEs quickly adapt to the fast-paced business environment by utilizing e-commerce and online transactions for the purchase of goods and services. The development of technology has not only made buying and selling easier, but it has also enabled business owners to save money on marketing and advertising. For SMEs, using different e-commerce platforms makes life simple. 10. Technology in Farming Ethiopia's Agricultural Transformation Agency is focusing on the most recent technology advancements in the agricultural sector in order to achieve food security and extensive commercial farming within the next 20 years. Khalid Bomba, the Chief Executive Officer of ATA, or Agricultural Transformation Agency, thinks that Ethiopia's agricultural industry has not completely tapped into the potential of technology because agriculture and farming account for 45% of Ethiopia's GDP growth, 80% of its employment possibilities, and 75% of its overall export revenues, improving agricultural practices in Ethiopia is a top concern. The federal government is starting to deploy satellite soil mapping technologies, video footage, and drones to support farmers and boost sales, under the direction of Bomba, and based on successful Asian farming practices. The ability to virtually tour Ethiopian farms and watch drone footage to evaluate farming practices and particular commodities makes exports more effective, profitable and secure. Ethiopia is actively investing in farming and agricultural technology projects and is experiencing success as a result of the weight of a growing population and impoverished communities. 9. Technology in Transportation The Addis Ababa Light Rail in the nation's capital has proven to be a significant technological advance for Ethiopia. The transit system has two lines, 39 stations, and a nearly 20-mile radius when it opens in 2021. Mulu Jeta Gudeta, a prominent member of the Addis Ababa Chamber of Commerce, stated prior to the construction of this extensive rail project that the state of public transportation in Addis Ababa is perhaps the weakest link in the otherwise rapidly expanding economy in the Ethiopian capital. It can be challenging for employees to arrive at work on time. Furthermore, despite having only 2% of the world's registered vehicles, 
The region has some of the highest road fatality rates due to a lack of infrastructure for road safety. According to data from 2021, the nation saw more than 10,000 traffic accidents, with 418 of those accidents resulting in fatalities in Addis Ababa alone. Currently, the light rail system can accommodate 60,000 passengers per hour when it is fully functioning. The light rail system, which is mostly supported by the Chinese government, is an important piece of technology that addresses the workforce in Ethiopia's mobility and safety needs. The city's innovative light rail system holds out the prospect of safer transportation and higher employment rates for the underprivileged. 8. Technology in Education Ethiopia is making enormous strides to incorporate technology into education, emphasizing the value of providing kids with access to contemporary tools. ET Learns, a company with headquarters in the United States, has been a key proponent of encouraging the development of educational technology in Ethiopia. Students now have access to online learning resources and digital learning tools thanks to their creation of learning labs. Ethiopian ninth grader Haptamu said that his ability to learn at grade level and above has encouraged him to become an innovator in the future. Haptamu frequently uses the learning labs. Technology is not only improving Ethiopia, but it is also helping young people there by advancing their skills and aspirations through the digitalization of education. Ethiopia. 7. Healthcare. Although investing in health has frequently been seen as an expense rather than as an investment with a financial return, health has long been acknowledged as a critical component of development. This is wrong because wealth depends on health improvement. Investing in children's health will produce the future generation of entrepreneurs, experts and skilled workers, which is even more significant than the fact that healthier people are more productive during their peak working years. Innovations in healthcare delivery will be required in Ethiopia, where access to new medical treatments often comes later. This will allow millions of individuals who do not currently have access to these interventions to do so at a reasonable cost. This entails new funding and procurement strategies, larger alliances and teamwork, and a wider range of shared priorities. Technology can be crucial, particularly when it comes to scalability of access. Additionally, pharmaceutical and medical technology companies might cooperate to shorten the wait. 6. Renewable Energy Ethiopia can reduce climate change, increase price resiliency, and reduce energy costs by utilizing renewable energy sources. This is particularly important right now since rising fossil fuel prices brought on by the conflict in Ukraine are crippling impoverished energy importing nations. Economic and scientific groups have urged decision makers to implement policies that support renewable energy as a crucial component of international efforts to combat climate change for decades. Large-scale renewable energy projects not only reduce carbon emissions, but also offer investors, governments, and most importantly customers who require dependable, affordable electricity, clear economic advantages. Ethiopia may lack the public resources to construct the necessary new infrastructure, but well-designed, larger-scale renewable energy projects will draw the private capital required to get the facilities up and running. 5. Digital Currencies Traditional financial systems can be expensive and time-consuming for both the sender and the receiver to use when transferring money. These fees and delays are frequently seen as a disadvantage to traditional financial systems because many developed countries rely on the remittance market and cryptocurrencies are seen as a solution. Cryptocurrencies allow for quick and inexpensive international money transfers making them a viable replacement for the conventional methods of receiving remittances. They are decentralized networks that obviate the need for a middleman. 
Due to the user's ability to transfer money without involving a third party, international fund transfers are completed faster than they would otherwise be. Traditional fund transfers frequently take days to process and approve, whereas cryptocurrency transfers are frequently finished in minutes, needing only the network to confirm the block containing your transaction before being fully settled and the funds becoming available. 4. Natural Resources Resources found in nature are the main driver of economic expansion. Economic growth is greatly facilitated by natural resources. Natural resources such as land, minerals and gas are in great supply in Ethiopia. In this region of the world, there are deposits of gold, copper, potash, platinum and natural gas, and mining is said to have contributed $500 million to the nation's economy in 2021. Take Dubai or other Middle Eastern countries as an example. The economy of these countries have literally been defined by their abundance in oil resources. Other nations, like Singapore, have developed into important transit hubs due to their good natural harbors. Resources like coal deposits, iron ore deposits, and even arable land exist in other nations as well. 3. Deregulation People were created to interact through trade. Simply put, that is how things should be in the natural order. Some oppressive regimes attempt to curtail this freedom. Trading is constrained as rules and restrictions are put in place. This might favor a select few at the expense of others, but it would nearly never be to the country's overall advantage. Economic superpowers are well known for being the world's trading partners. They do not become powerful because they are isolated, but rather because they are indispensable in trade. The historical record is unequivocally clear. Superpowers have always and will always adhere to free trade principles. Keep in mind that nations like the United States and the United Kingdom only experience economic growth after adopting a free trade policy. The economic strength steadily declined as and when protectionism became rife. 2. Technological Advancement Economic growth has always been significantly influenced by technology. Technological developments were the catalyst for the Industrial Revolution. Since then, humanity has never looked back. Only the ways in which technology was applied varied over time. In Ethiopia, technology continues to promote job creation and company expansion across many industries, from manufacturing to services to social media. However, because of this, technologically advanced nations tend to see significantly faster economic growth than less advanced nations. Take Germany as an example. The nation has experienced two total wartime destructions and has long been occupied by communist forces. However, compared to its European counterparts, who have not nearly seen as much instability, its economy is considerably more developed. Analysts have come to the conclusion that Germany's concentration on technological growth is the reason for this achievement. 1. Infrastructure Last but not least, Ethiopia is implementing the Chinese model of development. China's government has made significant investments in big infrastructure projects. Once they got going, these initiatives boosted the economy and produced jobs. Additionally, because they were infrastructure projects, they essentially paid for themselves in the long run. The cost of manufacturing in China is currently among the lowest in the world. It has been made possible by the extensive infrastructure. China has the lowest electricity prices in the entire world. Additionally, Chinese carriers can transport goods at a low cost between continents. China is now the world's largest exporter and second largest economy as a result. Technology and infrastructure is an investment that developing nations must make in today's increasingly digital world, as shown by the ways it is being used in Ethiopia.
Ethiopia's lofty goals allowed them to reduce extreme poverty from 37.2% to 27.3% between 2004 and 2020. However, the nation's biggest challenges continue to be a lack of funding and inadequate infrastructure. While farming, transportation, and education are just a few of the ways that technology is improving Ethiopia, there are still opportunities for the Ethiopian government, as well as other national and international governments and organizations, to effect positive change and encourage further innovation within Ethiopia come 2030. Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in an upcoming video.